Back in January, a little game called Ilo Milo may have slipped under your Xbox Live Arcade radar. The game's developer, South End Interactive, has not only managed to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but also forever alone. This game can be played with two players locally, but I ended up doing all the puzzles solo. No second player for me. Thanks for reminding me, South End. You play as both Ilo and Milo, two creatures called Safkas, who are looking to be reunited. You make your way through 3D mazes, switching back and forth between Ilo and Milo, in order to facilitate a happy reunion. Get your thinking caps, gamers. This is one fun ride. Luckily, this game makes me forget about being alone by being one of the most trying puzzle experiences I've encountered to date. Don't misunderstand, calling a puzzle game trying merely states that it forces me to use parts of my brain that most linear games have left to atrophy. Mechanics-wise, Ilo Milo thinks outside the box and delivers simple concepts with varied and complex execution. Ilo and Milo can only move in a straight line unless there are special arrows allowing them to move onto another plane. You use special cubes to assist in navigating the maze, which can extend, act as a moving platform, flip you completely upside down, or just plug up an open gap. This can create some very difficult puzzle scenarios that may make you want to tear out your hair, but are ultimately rewarding when you successfully solve them. South End offers the player many facets of gameplay that makes Ilo Milo incredibly satisfying and worthy of multiple replays. You can rush through the game and just solve every puzzle, Leroy Jenkins style, or you can attempt to solve the puzzle in the least amount of steps, garnering a place on the Xbox Live leaderboards. Of course, there are unlockables to be had. Collecting records on each level will unlock music, which is a massively entertaining part of the game. The composer, Daniel Olson, creates a truly wonderful and unique soundtrack that retains a childish air while bordering on, well, strange. Most levels also contain a photo that, if collected, unlocks more adorable artwork. Finally, by collecting every rogue Safka on all courses in a chapter, you open up bonus levels that channel environment and character designs from other popular indie games, such as World of Goo, Super Meat Boy, and Machinarium. It's like South End read my video game diary. Yes, I have a video game diary. No, you can't read it. <laughs> Ilo Milo may seem as though it were tailored for children, but make it past the first set of levels and you'll feel like no mortal child could decipher some of these brain teasers. It's also important to notice how odd the character designs are and the strange ethereal creatures floating off in what seems to be the cosmos. The environment design is amazing and seems to be taken out of LSD-fueled hallucinations, but without the damage to your cerebral cortex. The whole game comes together in an amazing way that is well worth your time and cash. You've got 49 superbly designed levels to get through, plus multiplayer shuffle, which now supports up to four players simultaneously, all of which goes for $10 on the Xbox Live Marketplace. If you're feeling feisty, pick up the Autumn Tale DLC for an additional 25 levels for $3. The game will take a while to complete, so sit back and relax with this fun and challenging title.